Welcome on in here to Wager Talk Extra, a little midweek edition for you. And uh, man, my my unofficial yet official co-host, Andy Lang, he hosts yesterday with the golf show and Nick Borman. And then I'm like, Andy, my moving's all done. I'm ready to go. And he's like, forget it. You know what? I don't even want to see you this week. So I, you're, you're stuck with me and my man, Tokyo Brandon. We're going to be talking a little KBO. He's got a free play coming your way in the uh, in the KBO. And then we'll also talk how he's been looking in Major League Baseball as well. Just a one-off. So we're going to be talking with Brandon and then we're done for the week. So I say let's get right into it. And welcome in Tokyo, Brandon. Brandon, it's good to see you, brother. And I say let's get right into it. Every time you come on, I don't know if you suck up to me or not, you want to talk about the SSG Landers, which the <laughs> viewers of the former Asian Baseball Today show would know I adopted them as my own. So I'm wondering, Brandon, SSG, they're taking on the Samsung Lions. How is Tokyo Brandon going to be betting this series coming up this weekend? Yes, Dan, I know you love the SSG Landers. Uh, and actually, I'm going to uh, be promoting them in this series. This series is going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday series in the KBO. Um, and currently, uh, these two teams are just worlds apart. SSG has been quite cold lately, uh, but Samsung has been cold all season. And so... Uh, I break these teams, when I break down a series, I look at uh, a bunch of different factors, uh, about 25 different factors, but I'll, I'll just break down a couple of the main ones here. Uh, SSG is a great home team, first of all. Uh, they rank number four in uh, WOBA for their lineup, which is a weighted on base uh, percent, and uh, their bullpen ERA is number one in the league. Uh, their, their bullpen whip is number one in the league where uh, Samsung's bullpen is ranked 10 in the league in ERA and whip. So we've got first place team against the last place team as far as bullpens are concerned. Starting rotations also, SSG is close to the top. Well, they are the top currently. Uh, Samsung is second from the bottom in uh, rotation ERA. Uh, and if you take a look at the hitting, uh, season runs per game. Uh, pretty close actually, but SSG still has a slight advantage at four, 4.4 runs per game where Samsung's hitting four, uh, per game. But if you look at the last week, break that down, uh, SSG is heating up just a little bit, uh, 5.4 runs per game where Samsung is still stuck at around under four at 3.7 runs per game. So everything points towards SSG landers in this series. Uh, so my advice to everyone is if you see a line on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, which is Asian time, that would be uh, late night, or uh, yeah, it would be a early, early morning Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday uh, in the U.S. If you see any lines where SSG is a minus 150 or better, you should jump all over it. Uh, depending on who the starting pitcher is, uh, I'll be releasing some free plays for this, uh, but uh, SSG even on a minus one and a half. Currently in the KBO, uh, scores are averaging exactly 9.0 runs per game. So it is safe to lay a minus one and a half if the line goes over 150. But my advice for everyone is if you see SSG against Samsung and the line is anywhere minus 150 or better, you can grab Sam, uh, SSG and feel pretty comfortable about it. I love to hear it. You don't have to tell me twice to be back in the landers there, Brando. So SSG taking on Samsung, and Brandon's going to be looking for some advantageous spots to be betting the landers. Before we give the folks the free play, I'm wondering, Brandon, what's going on over at your page, wt.buzz slash TB, because the last seven days, you're on that leaderboard. Number two, all sports profit. And also in the last few days, the number three in MLB profit. So it's not just these lesser known leagues in the KBO and MPB where you make your way because you're on an eight and run team in the MLB. You got anything like that locked and loaded at your page? Yeah, if you read my profile on wagertalk.com, you'll you'll know that I, I, I was a scout for one of the major league baseball teams. I scouted KBO and Japanese baseball for them. Uh, and right now I'm on an eight and one run for my LB, uh, MLB team totals. So that's quite a nice run. And like you said, yeah, I'm number two overall, uh, last seven days. Uh, I do have a MLB play out already for today. Uh, and I will be putting Asian baseball plays out later in the day. So check back to my wager talk 
facebook.com page uh, for those. My Asian plays, uh, Japanese and KBO, are always $9 every day. Uh, so uh, take advantage of that. Last night I went 3-0 and in Asian baseball, 2-0 and in the KBO, and 1-0 uh, mm. in uh, Japanese baseball. So things running pretty good. Yeah, the and O oh, always a good thing for the clients. Well, let's hope you go one Absolutely. and O oh here with the free plays on the show yes, because you got a game that you're eyeing here today and uh, yes. Kiwoom Samsung. We talked about it. You yes. like the money line here. Why are you liking the favorite in this matchup? Yeah, so uh, let's just call this uh, session a uh, gut punch to Samsung because I'm going against him today as well, not only on the weekend series, but uh, Amu Jing uh, takes the mound for the Kiwum heroes, and uh, he's been absolutely incredible this season. How incredible has he been? Uh, well, if you look at his starts this season, he has started, uh, he started uh, over 10 games. He has yet to give uh, more than two runs in one of his starts, except for one game. Uh, against KT, four starts ago, he did allow three runs, uh, but that's the only game where he allowed more than two runs in uh, 10 of his starts this season. That's pretty incredible. He also has a, a, a he also has 104 strikeouts to 18 walks. Incredible uh, strikeout to walk rate, and he's taking on uh, he's taking on Samsung, who is the currently the worst. Uh, second worst hitting team and the worst pitching team in the league. So I really like Amu Jing here and the Kiwum Heroes. The problem is Kiwum doesn't really hit very well. Um, there's they they rank uh, towards the bottom in hitting, but not quite as bad as Samsung. Uh, and Samsung is starting a guy named uh, Albert Suarez. And I don't know if you've been following the KBO. Suarez had a great two years, but this year he's kind of fallen off a little bit. Uh, in his last 10 starts, uh, I'm not going to rattle off all the numbers, but he's given up a nine spot. He's given up a six spot. Uh, and in his last three starts, uh, he's given up two, three, and nine. So he used to be a rock solid uh, starter. He's fallen off a cliff a little, and he's backed up by the worst bullpen in the league. I really like Kiwum here. Uh, the lines came out in some books at minus 140. I like Kiwum minus 160 or better. Uh, if you don't, really want to stomach a 160 you can lay the one and a half but i don't really feel comfortable laying a one and a half with kiwum they're not the best hitting team in the league this will probably be close and it'll probably be decided by bullpens at the end uh kiwum is on the road uh so a minus one and a half would be okay but i'm gonna stomach the minus 140 here which is what it came out with Probably will drop to 150 or, or, or 160, but I could still stomach that. Amu Jing's just, he's been the best pitcher in the league right now. So uh, I'm ready to back him and the Kiwoom Heroes. Tokyo Brandon, the most hated man in the Samsung locker room of all time. <laughs> they don't not like only me. fading him, on, <laughs> not only fading him on the weekend, fading him in the play going tomorrow morning. And want to grab that now as the money line probably going to be getting steeper as the day goes on. As that's what happens when Brandon talks at KBO. Well, Brandon, always appreciate having you on. Best of luck in the MLB plays. Stay hot. Eight and one in the last few. So you know how to bet the weekend series with SSG and Samsung. And then you also know to fade Samsung, according to our man Tokyo Brandon. Big thanks to him, even when my co-host ditches me and Andy Lang. Tokyo Brandon is ready to get you some actionable info you know and love. That's going to shut it down for Wager Talk Extra for the week. Big thanks. Thanks to TB and big thanks to the production team behind the scenes doing a terrific job. We will be locked and loaded with a three pack again next week. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of the great shows here at Wager Talk TV. We'll see you next week right here on Wager Talk Extra.